Tired of being scared when I build my break apart I don't wanna know the end, all I want is a place to start Hey what's up YouTube, it's DS Pyro coming at you with another video It's been a while since I've actually recorded so I thought what better way to come back with a video that's about noise and um, organized noise, music. I love music. Um, it's my first review for doing music on this properly as opposed to a reaction to a music video. So I thought I'd do something I actually really liked, like to give it a good shot. And um, so I'm gonna actually be reviewing Post Traumatic, the new, the latest album by um, Mike Shinoda. Mike Shinoda is the rapper that's in Lincoln Park. Um, I actually did a, a, a review of the post-traumatic EP that he released last year in December or possibly early January this year. Um, so you may, if you've watched that video, you may catch a couple of things that I've touched upon there, maybe a little bit of repetition. I'll link the video in the description box below. Now onto the actual review. The structure itself kind of reminds me of a Lincoln Park album and the fact that like the amount of songs on there where I think Lincoln Park albums, at least originally, had about 12, 13 tracks on there. But this one has 16, I believe, which is more, but the structure in the sense of it's got two verses and possibly a bridge, and a lot of Lincoln Park songs are very reminiscent of that style, which is different to what he did with, well, different to what Mike did as for Minor, when it was generally three verses, possibly a bridge, and choruses, and so on. Um, I quite like how this felt familiar in the context of having the two verses. It, it was a nice feeling that he's gone back to, I guess you could say, what he's himself familiar with, that comfort zone which goes in line with what this album kind of is a journey of, getting back into your comfort zone but also coming out of your comfort zone and comfort in the madness of what's going on around you. I feel that this definitely takes the steps of a journey, like you're going from one one step to another. and I. This journey kind of reminded me of the five steps of grieving all the way from um, denial, the, the first step when you're just like, you know, this can't be the case, all the way up until I think the, the fifth one, um, acceptance. And from the first song, which is called A Place to Start, generally, it's obvious that that's the place of he needs somewhere to start from and you're kind of in that denial place. Now, don't get me wrong, not all of these songs actually directly relate to Yes, these are the five steps, or even necessarily the overall, like, this song is denial, that song's denial, then it gradually goes into it, but you can cherry pick some songs in the order that the album is and get the five steps. So it really makes sense that a song such as Crossing a Line is in the middle of the album. Now that we're on to the songs, the ones that I really liked a lot, like I said in my original um, EP review for Post Traumatic, Over Again is a beautiful song about how no matter what happens you're always going to come back to the fact that Chester Bennington has passed away and you're always going to remember that this thing has happened out of all the songs it's one of the the best ones to me and even songs like I'm um, crossing a line like I mentioned and um, about you they're really uh, amazing songs that kind of show the inner conflict with wanting to move on but still kind of being angry at the fact that no matter what happens, someone's always going to talk about Chester passing away, at least right now, um, because it's kind of the hot news in context in relation to Mike Shinoda. So with About You, that, that's definitely more about whatever he's doing is going to come back to Chester. It's always about him no matter what the situation is. It's more the chorus that does that than the verses, but the verses are still tight and have a lot of meaning behind them. But crossing a line, like I said before, is in the middle of the album and it's... The line, uh, I, th I believe the chorus goes... And I'll tell you I don't care anymore And I hope you know that's a lie Cause I found what I have been waiting for But to get there means crossing a line now this can be taken as him speaking to Chester saying look people are going to say that I don't care because I'm doing new music but I hope you know it's a lie or it could be that the media itself will say oh he's doing new music he can't care about Chester or the group Lincoln Park anymore or anything of that matter Chester's family all that jazz and he's hoping that we as the audience his fans or whatever or just people who are just discovering his music or have found out about Chester and so on and hope that 
he knows that just because he's doing music means he doesn't care. Like I said before, he lost his friend, his best friend, his bandmate, all that jazz, his family, so his family member rather. So definitely, I, I personally feel that he cares. I mean, like I said before, again, I've never had to deal with it, but I presume that Mike does care, otherwise he probably wouldn't be making this type of album. It, it definitely is a, a very tight-knit album and it showed a lot of care in this, the way he structured it. So in line with The Five Steps of Grieving, I think Can't Hear You Now is the final song on the album. I think it's, it's definitely an acceptance song in the terms of, you know what, I get that you've passed away and I know what I'm gonna do now. Or to be fair, that's one way of looking at this um, song. I think for me, I took it as, well, it's hard to say. He, one of them, he could be talking to Chester in this song saying, I can't hear you now in the sense of, I accept you've passed away and it's not bothering me anymore. And I think that is a really interesting take on accepting something because throughout the whole album and when you hear the interviews, you feel like it's not particularly bothering him that his friends passed away, but it's something that is definitely gonna bug him in the terms of he's not there anymore. And what is he going to do now? What am I gonna do now? What what are the band members gonna do now? What is Chester's family gonna do now? And so on. So I think you can really take the song positively or negatively. Um, if you don't listen to it and just hear I Can't Hear You No More, that's definitely going to be a negative um, song that you're hearing, but I don't think it is. I, I really took it as a positive way. Um, also, I think it's partly the media as well as like in line again with Crossing a Line, if you take that as a media song saying that he won't care, you can't hear the media anymore. He's just doing what he wants to do, making the music that he wants to make at this moment in time for himself, let alone for us as fans. So I think that's really cool. I, I really hope most people who listen to this album will take that song as a positive spin, saying that he's gotten to a place in his life currently that he can do music and be happy with what he's produced. Now, one song that actually does stick out to me and it doesn't really seem in line with the rest of the album is I O U. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this song. It has an amazing beat to it and just just sounds nice, but it to me it sounded like a really typical overall, not actually a typical song that's out now, but it's a rap album and you've got a braggadocious, I'm just gonna brag about how, how good I am out um, song, which there's nothing wrong with. I mean, if you've got a rock song, you're probably gonna have that in some way or another rap album. It's definitely a given as well any kind of music, it's probably gonna have at least one song in that genre, that person or artist, band, or whatever that's gonna say, I'm this good and that's all that matters. And it, the song itself, like I say, I like it, it has a very good feel and I, I just actually really like when Mike Schnoda raps about how good he is because it's different to how other rappers do it. Like, I don't think Mike Schnoda is one of the best rappers in the world or like top 10 or whatever, but I really enjoy what he produces in Ninga Park, Mike Shiloh, and even this album. And it's his vocabulary that's really good. It's not generic rap star vocabulary about how good he is. He uses like high vocabulary and it's just wonderful. I mean, like one of the lines that he has as well is that it's, it's a reference to Marvel and I absolutely love it with um, Logan and X-23. And it, that's what really sold me on this. Um, and he even has a line uh, that references uh, Fort Minor and it's amazing. Like, if you if you weren't expecting that, or well, I guess you weren't expecting if you're first listening to it, maybe if you hear this review before the album, then yeah, you'll know it's gonna happen. But it's just it's just amazing. And yeah, I, I actually like it. It just didn't feel like it fit within the album itself. Maybe if it was if this was on a Fort Minor album that would be so much better structure-wise structure, or structure -wise for me. I mean, again, with the structure of a Linkin Park album, there's even an instrumental song on this album, and that strongly reminded me of um, Hybrid Theory's Cure for the Itch and Meteora's Session. Those are both instrumental songs. Now, the vibe that you get from the song is definitely not Cure for the Itch or Session, but the fact that 
on this album that song structure sounds a lot like Linkin Park with the two verses and um, a bridge possibly and so on. And the amount of songs you have on there is very similar to um, other Linkin Park albums. You've also got the instrumental album, just th sorry, the instrumental song just thrown in there. Well, like I said, the vibe is very different. It, it just reminds me of that feeling that I got when listening to Linkin Park album. So with this, like I said, I, I really enjoyed this album. It's a beautiful album. It does take you on a journey. I think it's a tribute to Chester Bennington and his life and even more so than that to Max Shinoda and his growth as a human, as a human being from when his best friend passed away up until the point of releasing this album or rather completing the album. Um, there were a lot of songs that were on this album that were meant for um, One More Lightning and Park's last album, at least the structure or maybe some of the verses, they were reworded. So I think I, I, were, I wasn't able to find uh, many of those songs, but they are there. So I think being able to rework things that were for Ningen Park and then make it his own stuff as Mike Shinoda is a really nice touch and it's still reminiscent of Chester um, and his music as well. I honestly think that if you're waiting for a Fort Minor album, this is probably the best you're going to get because there was something that was released back in, I think, 2016, maybe 2017, I can't remember, with um, Fort Minor's name. It was called Welcome. There was a new website and everything stating under construction, and it never happened, and then Ninkin Park's album happened, and now this. So I really think if you want Fort Minor, get this album. It's a completely different album to what Fort Minor would have been, I think. Um, if you want to give a listen to the Welcome song and you can tell how different that music is as well. Um, definitely hear this journey from the horse's mouth, Mike Shinoda as well. Is it the best album I've heard? Definitely not. But it's a it's a wonderful album, I think. Find it on Spotify or whatever you listen to music on. Um, whatever you can, get this album, go on the journey, then come back here and tell me what you think. So, um, guys, that was my review on the album. Let me know what you think of the album, like I just said. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, um, I'd prefer if you didn't leave a dislike because I don't like when people don't like my stuff. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And if you can as well, once you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell because then you know when I release videos. I do them weekly. Um, I kind of missed out on last week, but I'm back on it right now. Either way, guys, I um, I still don't have a sign up, so uh, peace. I'm running from my shadow. Running from my shadow.